How do you stop endurance carts from gaining an unfair advantage by using skinny drivers? Endurance karting isn't like sprint karting, where races are over after 10 or 15 laps. Endurance events race for a minimum of four hours and can be as long as 24 hours. That's continuous racing. Pit stops, driver changes, refueling stops, race strategy and kart preparation all combine to offer a challenging and exciting real racing environment at a cost which is comparatively affordable. The karts are powered by two 6.5 horsepower Honda motors and can achieve speeds in excess of 100 kilometers per hour. The racing is competitive and close, with teams often separated by seconds or minutes at the end of a six-hour race. So every team is looking to gain a couple of seconds, which could make all the difference. Because these are endurance races, each team has multiple drivers. So teams need to plan when they will change the drivers and how long they can maintain the pace, with driving stints usually between one to two hours at the wheel. The lower the weight ratio to power, the faster the carts go which means any team can shave critical seconds off their time by dropping their weight. So if teams are looking for a competitive advantage to go faster, then it would make sense to make their carts and drivers weigh less. Since all the carts have access to the same Honda motors, the lower the combined weight, the faster the carts. Any team which can find a bunch of skinny drivers would be able to go faster. So. How do you stop endurance carts teams from gaining an unfair advantage by using skinny drivers? To make the racing about the skill of the drivers and the reliability of the carts, each team's cart and driver needs to be a minimum of 185 kilos. Tekka, the Endurance Karting Association, holds races around Australia, so Tekka needed to find a portable weighing solution, which could be easily packed into a four-wheel drive trailer. AWE was approached to design a robust weighing system which was portable and accurate for weighing the cart and a fully kitted out driver. The cart weigher needed to be easy to set up in the pits, reliable and able to cope with the harsh conditions of a racetrack. The cart weigher also had to help enforce the rule of the combined weight of the cart and the team of drivers being over 185 kilos. One of the difficulties faced with weighing these carts is the low clearance of the carts. The cart had to be able to clear the ramps without bottoming out the cart's frame, as this could damage the cart's delicate setup. The cart weigher was designed as modules so they could be put together quickly on race day and provide an accurate weight of each team's carts and drivers. The cart weigher uses four AGX load cells at each corner to weigh the carts and drivers. Their weights flash on an indicator so the officials can see the weight of the team's carts and drivers. Every cart and the drivers are checked to make sure they comply with the minimum weight of 185 kilos. According to Blake MacArthur, race secretary, just having the cart weigher on site provided an additional benefit because the teams did not know when they would be randomly checked again. So this kept everybody honest, instead of trying to sneak an unfair advantage on their competitors. So, if you have questions about weighing your products, then talk to Australian Weighing Equipment about our solutions. Call or email us today and find out how our sales team and project engineers can assist you in finding the best weighing solution for your needs. On 028717 3333 or go to www.awe.com.au